So, we have just did our uh, geometrical design with stippling and architectural walls. We're going to translate that into ceramic. So what we did is we traced it off, and you can see how we're taking a section of it and making it into ceramic. Now what you can do is you can um, cut, you know, your floor areas out. We can sti uh, stipple in with black underglaze, and you can either leave it flat like a trivet, or what I've done, and I'll show you this in another demo, is I've wrapped it around this direction, and I uh, peeled some pieces off, and then I'm going to add some walls on top of it and make a sculpture. So I'm going to let you decide if you want to keep it flat or if you want to make a sculpture and do something a little bit more um, intricate. But it's up to you what you want to do. Now, so I'm going to show you how you're going to roll out your slab to get started. Okay. So what you're going to do is you're going to take, it's going to be difficult with that because I'm going to be banging on the table, so hold on steady. <laughs> okay, we'll edit this. All right, now, what you're going to do is you're going to take a piece of clay this, you know, about this thick, but you want to make it so you can roll it. And um, it might not be cut exactly straight, so you're going to take this in your hand, and you don't want to throw it high, because if you throw it high, it'll bounce, and you won't be doing the, what you want it to do is to flatten it. So you're going to oh go like that. Oh, my God. And then you're going to go like that. So this is where you can get your grip. Wow. But look at how it flattens. You could do this whole thing without a rolling pin. Thank you, Moss. So you can do this whole thing without a rolling pin. See how close my hand stays close to it. Now that's good. Now what you're going to do is you're going to take your rolling pin. Now we're not going to roll clay, we're going to push clay. So what you're going to do is you're always going to start in the middle because this is a lot of thick clay to push if you started way at the end. And the idea is to get the clay from the center out and stop pushing the clay when you get to the edge because then people will tend to make their clay real paper thin and it'll stick. So you want to stop the push, you know, right before you get to the edge because it's a little bit thicker here. So it's easier to move half the clay than all the clay. So we're not going to use these handles because this is built for cookie dough, which is usually out here. So what we want to do is put all of our body weight on top of the clay because that'll push it. So we're not rolling back and forth. Now, when you roll one way or push one way and ro roll another way, that'll give you a vertical slab. If you roll horizontally as well as vertically, that'll give you a square. And then if you roll on the diagonals, then that'll give you a um, circle. So we want more of a rectangle. So we're going to be basically rolling back and forth this way. And then we might have to adjust it a little bit so that we get the right width. Okay, so it looks like the width is pretty good. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start in the middle. I'm going to put my whole body weight. So this is really good to do when you're standing up when you're rolling rather than sitting because you really can't get as much pressure down. So what you're going to do is you're going to hold your hands over the rolling pin and see how I'm pushing using my body weights. Mm -hmm. So when people do ceramics for any length of time, they do develop muscles. I'm going to stop it to about there. Then you're going to push it this direction. <coughs> okay. Then we're going to go again. And then you le ease up on the pressure when you get out there. Okay. The edges. So the idea is to get an even thickness of wall. About a quarter of an inch thick is a really nice thickness. So I'm kind of rolling it out in even directions so the wall is even. Now I'm going to take this and I'm going to lay it on top. Do I have it quite? Not yet. So I'm going to roll it out a little bit more this direction now. Starting from the center and easing up on the pressure as you get out to the edge. Okay, almost. You just have to keep doing that. Okay. That is pretty good. 
Now I'm going to take my knife, and you want you don't want to you know you know you want to put it so that your index finger is on the handle. Then you can guide it against it. It'll work, okay? And the beveled edge is your your sharp blade, so be very careful. You're going to take this and kind of guide it against your foam core. Might be a little bit thin out here. I'm going to take a look. Let me see what my walls look like. It's thick there. on this side. Oh, that's all right. So what I'm going to do, so if that happens, I'm going to push the clay this direction to stretch it out this way. I want even walls. Even thickness. This again and cut it. And that burlap will burn off. It's better really not to have burlap. I would like to use uh, canvas instead rather than burlap if they didn't have hit this school. But that would be better to have. Alright, this is a better thickness. And then without stretching it, you're gonna pull it up like this. Hold it like this, without <laughs> stretching it too much. And then take a sponge, uh, one of these per table, and then just round out and smooth out your edges, your walls. So remember we had quarter inch walls when we did our design, our geometric design. So this is about a quarter of an inch wall. You don't want it to wrap around the foam core. And some of this will be cut away in your design. See, so if it's not exactly perfect around here, not to worry, because that'll probably just be all cut away. Now, when you're finished with that, I'm going to show you next class, then how we can use tracers like lids and so forth and just put a bigger lid inside the smaller lid we still can make our axis and so forth and um, start to draw with the needle our design on and then how we can cut away floor space okay then you can wrap it around a container or leave it flat i'll let you you know go with it however you want okay so this is the slab that you're going to make today <laughs>